Hello, welcome back again to NX tutorial. So in this session, I would ex I would explain you about the motion in here for study case a desk fan. You can see in here we have a desk fan design. So what the purpose for this simulation is to create move movement in this rotating movement, a harmonic motion is because in the actual condition that this fan have some kind of uh, oscillating uh, mechanism in here okay so let's start go to an motion as usual the first thing we should do is create new simulation go to dynamics okay click link create the base link in here we have the base link okay this is the base link second we create also the housing for this oscillating mechanism we have an electric motor in here uh, I click this part as the fan housing is also included okay so this is the housing the next thing is the rotation of the fan blade itself so this is the fan blade it include this shaft okay so now we have three first link as the stationary or as the base the second link the electric motor with the uh, oscillating mechanism uh, the third is the fan blade itself now I will create joint mechanism joint link uh, create a full joint between this part with this part okay select link this is the action link and the base link this is the base link specify origin looking for the center this one and the factor is perpendicular click ok in here we have a joint and also we have a joint in here for this uh, fan blade itself select link the origin The origin, I can see the origin, so uh, it will be okay if I click in here. So for the placement, okay. The base link is this part, okay. Click okay. So I have a full join. I also have a full join. Now for the full join, I want to add some kind of a a rotation that is uh, a constant rotation so I go to po polynomial initial velocity and bt 160 degrees so it's a, a constant velocity meanwhile in here I want to add some a harmonic function in here so yeah, harmonic function uh, the amplitude may be about 45 degrees the frequency 18 degrees per second so let's go check okay before I go to solution something I need to add is this one is fix the link okay go to solution but the second I think is enough uh, click solve and let's check the simulation as you, you can see I using time two seconds the step is 500 so it's like a slow motion so I go to solution again it was five seconds but I reduce this one into become 100 let's click solve as you can see in here so the time I think is not enough maybe I should maybe add it to eight seconds to 50 
and maybe slightly increase the velocity also 720 okay Let's solve go to animation ah, you can see not enough time go back the solution maybe about 20 seconds can see the harmonic motion is like an oscillating motion meanwhile in here we have a relatively velocity a constant velocity for this one this 60 okay resolve animation go oh, this is slower okay so you can see in here how much the torque require to rotate all this movement you go to animation so actually this is just some kind of additional information if you want to find out how much the torque in the joint number one here so if I go to grab result each time I click it will be appear the necessary information go to force torque magnitude you can see in here still empty if I go click torque magnitude I create grab object it will add it automatically now also if I want to know the displacement of this uh, casing you can see in here displacement I have the displacement in X Y and also the magnitude if I want to know the angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 also so maybe I should go to just only to magnitude you're gonna see angle rotated to X Y and Z let's create grab now we have two here go click store okay grab fan need I need to remind you again uh, NX motion does not allow any space between font so you should using like this underscore or something to make a name and also you enter in here store at the same file click OK and then go to XY function navigator you can see this is every file I have grab fan click this one press the control button click the second so you select two in here click plot use new window as you can see in here angular displacement still to, still to constant meanwhile the torque is waving so maybe I should add something not linear I go back again here I using in here displacement maybe I should go to magnitude or maybe I can sh I can show you the angular one and two also. So I need to add something a little bit. Okay. Go back again in here. Center mass. You store in in that file. Okay. Store it again in that file. Oh, the fan. Oh, sorry. I put on the wrong file so you will see you will do and then I go back to you one you one should be stored in the grab fan right. so now we have here select all plot XY get the windows ah, you can see in here <coughs> 
The oscillating movement is on the Euler 1 displacement. Meanwhile, Euler 2 and 3 is the same, flat. So you no need to investigate that. So Euler, yes, Euler 1 and Euler. Yeah, you look two, 2 and 3. I, I will hide you 2 and 3. 2 and 3. I can delete from the object. Okay, so just only these two. I need to investigate. But XY, get you. Okay. Now, in order to find out the torque necessary to starting rotate, you can see the maximum in here, the value go to the toolbar and using this probing mode function okay you can see in here click it and you get at the marker the value in here the real value for the torque to that line okay and then for the real time uh, uh, probing you can see in here if you want to find out in here the intersection between those two just click it go into direction again in here the intersection between these two pointing the mouse click it so that's you get the value okay the value the maximum value and this is the intersection value between the angular displacement and the torque now for the simulation I go back to result as you can see during this simulating the movement is also simulating the the probe you can see in here okay so that's it for the fan simulation I hope this video is gonna be useful for you and thank you very much. Please watching the next video.